South Glen Falls Dragway, class winner. Wait, wait, what, what's, what's that junk you got there in your hand? You're gonna be scrapping that for scrap aluminum? Hell no. Gotta get 10 bucks for that. What the heck is it? That's a Rager. That's a, that's a V8 Chevy to early Ford transmission adapter. No way. And that's a Hearst. Abington, Pennsylvania. A Hearst small block Chevy adapter? Yep. Yep. Beautiful. And that is for a small block Chevy. To early Ford. Man started building a hot rod in 1960. As far as he got. <laughs> Let's get back to this hot rod over here. I'll take it. Don't strap it. So what we got here is a 1935 Ford two-door, what we call this a business coupe. Built as a hot rod in 1962 and parked in 1964. It's got a mercury crank, Fenton headers, sharp high compression heads, a couple of brand new 97 Strombergs, one concession to modernity alternator and an electric fan but otherwise she's just as she was class winner 1962 mercury brakes hydraulic of course what a beauty can you crank this bit wait you got the crank for it we'll crank her up can we hear her run with the glass packs yeah luckily this thing wasn't demolished with the barn that it was sitting in for 50 years. Can we hear how she runs? Hope it hasn't got that gosh awful green and white interior yet. Yeah, it still does. Yep, still does. Yeah, even oh, after it was cool. built 50 oh, years ago. Well, I guess we're good. Crank that baby up. Old period tachometer engages, manual chokes. Oh, she sounds real good. Uh, doesn't sound right. The cylinders aren't in a row. Yeah, but it's only run on six. What a beauty. Love it. Would you mind close the hood and just do a pass up and down the road? We hear this thing. Boy. Oh, I'm, you're spoiling me if you do take it for a quick ride. I love it. Built in 1962, would you believe the fellow that built this 52 years ago is still alive. Why in power and speed equipment. 1935 Ford. They were building hot rods in the 30s, 40s, 50s. It's nothing new under the sun. Click. The old headlights. A little snow squall. Yeah, still got that green and white interior. Ford Deluxe. What does she run smooth? Sounds great. Can't get a little ride up and down the road, hear how she barks? Yeah. I'd appreciate it. That's wonderful. Click. You know how these cars were built, huh? These cars were built with hammer and chisel. Carbon of a block iron at the Rouge factory and well, the Rouge River. American Yeah, American, good old American steel. It even has a trunk, not a rumble seat. I wish it would have gone the other way, then it would have come up the road under throttle. Hard to believe, huh? Well, we're at Rolling Bones, it's 2014. Another year's gone by, I still haven't got a 32 high boy. Oh, one day, one day, Rolling Bones. We come here every year, we dream. Kingston Igniters, we drive and drag safely. <laughs> we wanted to be, we drink and drive safely. <laughs> we right? drink, that doesn't go too well. <laughs> Here she comes. Crank that baby up. Yippee! Hard to believe, huh? In the barn for 50 years and the right guy heard about it. And he loaded her up on a trailer. The engine was stuck from sitting for 50 years. Yeah, rolling bones.
getting snow squalls. I don't know if people are going to be bringing their hot rods. Rolling Bones, crew cab, 3500. Gas job. Lifted. Why oh, does she sound good? Running sweet. Yeah, you'd never know for a million dollars what that thing's got packed under the hood. Mercury crankshaft. Oh, what a beauty. Tell me how far I am from that. Door. Yep, yep. Mom back. Mom back. A nice spring bumper there. Five feet, four feet, a lot of room, a lot of room. Mom back. Mom back. Mom back. Lots of room. Mom back. Mom back. Yeah, right there. What a beauty. Sounds perfect. I'll know who to hire if I need my flathead rebuilt sometime. <laughs> yeah, I've done a bunch of them. Well, I'm not much of a Ford guy, but I tell you, I'd make a concession just this one time only. <laughs> what a beauty. Love it.